Hi, my name is Emil Husted. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Organization at Copenhagen Business School, and I'm the author of the book Studying Political Parties as Organizations, which has just been published at Bristol University Press. The book has two overall aims. First, it seeks to convince organization and management scholars to take an interest in political parties. My main argument here is that organization scholars could learn a lot from taking parties seriously because parties obviously play a key role in shaping contemporary society, but also because parties accentuate and identify dynamics that may be present, but otherwise concealed or suppressed in ordinary organizations. To provide organization scholars with a vocabulary for studying parties as organizations, I outline four analytical perspectives based on existing literature. So it's the classical perspective, the configurational perspective, the comparative perspective, and the cultural perspective. These four perspectives all rely on different kinds of concepts and employ different kinds of methods, but they also uh, focus on different aspects of party organization and make themselves blind to other aspects. And this is why towards the end of the book, I uh, argue in favor of an eclectic framework where scholars use the four perspectives to paint a holistic picture of the inner life of political parties. The second aim of the book is to chronicle the story of the Danish Green Party, Alternative, which in English means the alternative. Alternative was established in 2013 as a reaction to uh, climate change and the so-called old political culture in Danish politics. What makes uh, Alternative particularly interesting uh, for organization scholars is that the party was launched without any kind of program or ideological commitment. Instead, the program was developed through an open source process involving both members and non-members, uh, which resulted in a lengthy and ambitious and genuinely unconventional political program. Alternative entered the Danish parliament in 2015 with almost 5% of the votes and has retained its parliamentary existence ever since. In the book, I use Alternative to illustrate the four perspectives in the sense that I analyze the party based on classical, configurational, comparative and cultural perspectives. In the end, I believe this helps me paint a comprehensive and nuanced picture of one of the most interesting party formations in Europe in recent years.